Let's find the oxidation numbers for each element here in CNO minus. So we'll start out, when we look at this, we see we have this negative charge here. That means that we have an ion. And when we have an ion, all of the oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to the charge on the ion. So all of the oxidation numbers here on the carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen, they're going to add up to minus 1. So we could just write it as an equation here. We could say all of those oxidation numbers, they equal minus 1. We do know that the oxygen, oxygen is minus 2 with a few exceptions. So we could put minus 2 in for the oxygen, but we really don't know the carbon or the nitrogen. Just looking at these rules, we don't have those in the rules here. So we could say the carbon plus the nitrogen plus this minus 2 here, that's all going to add up to the minus 1, the charge on the ion. So in cases when we have two elements, which we can't really use our rules to find the oxidation numbers, we're going to look at the more electronegative element. That's going to be the nitrogen. Then we're going to use the charge that the nitrogen would have when it forms an ion, in this case, the nitride ion. Let's look at the periodic table. So for nitrogen, when nitrogen forms ions, it forms these ions with a 3 minus ionic charge. So we know that for the nitrogen, we'll have minus 3. And then we can say the carbon, we don't know that. We're going to call that x. Then we can solve for x. So x minus 5 equals a minus 1. We add 5 to both sides. x will equal a positive 4. So the oxidation number on the carbon, that's plus 4. We said the nitrogen is minus 3, and the oxygen we said is minus 2. If you add all of these numbers up here, you get 1 minus. And we have this minus charge here on the ion. So those are the oxidation numbers for each element here in CNO minus. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.